Welcome to Request for Metal. Today we are doing our top 10 albums from June 2021. And it's been a long time since I've released a video about gallivanting, festivals, roller coasters, parks, everything you want. Internet crashed, but now we are back and we're delivering the goods. And today, you read it, you know, top 10 of the month. So you know how it goes by now. Pop yours down below. What 10 albums tickled your balls this month? And if you're a girl, tickled your ovaries. Which albums made you just want to fucking come? We're going to discuss them today, and hopefully you find one that you haven't heard of before, and you've probably heard them all before because everyone's done their lists already. But you know, fuck it, we're still going to do it, because it's the most fun video of the month, in my opinion. I love doing these videos. So sit back, relax, open up a can of Dr. Pepper or Pepsi Max or Coke or water or lemonade or squash, whatever your beverage of choice is. And let's get fucking started. So first up is Sidrian with Lost on Void's Horizon. This is a spacey, proggy death metal band. We haven't seen a lot of them recently, have we? <laughs> I love this one, though. Long songs, epic in scope, epic in nature. I love the cosmic kind of albums. I, I know last month I had loads of cosmic albums, and here we are starting this month off with another spacey cosmic album, and that's not going to be the only one. And this one will grow on you. Yeah, it will grow on you. If you love, you know, kind of stuff like, uh, like Fractal Generators album uh, from this year, that was absolutely amazing. Um, Fractal Universe as well. There's a lot of Fractal albums, isn't there? A lot of Fractal bands, isn't there? Um, if you like Pestilence's new album, you know, you, you'll probably like this. This is a spacey, proggy, death metal good time. For fans of the Cosmos and for fans of Prog Death, mix them together. You got this amazing slice of death metal and I really enjoyed it. So if you want to take a bite, Sidrian, Lost on Void's Horizon, it's a spicy sausage. Next up, I didn't expect to be talking about Fear Factory with Aggression Continuum. Never mentioned Fear Factory at all on the um, channel before. This is the first Fear Factory album I've ever fucking heard. The first one, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. It kind of sounded like Miss Sugar. Um, I, I'm a very noob to Fear Factory. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but that's what it sounded like to me, to my virgin ears. Sounded like, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say heavier my sugar, but I, I'm more catchy my sugar, I, I guess I could say. Loved the kind of industrial beats and flares and the drumming was awesome. Loved his vocals as well. Love everything about this album, to be honest. It really took me by surprise and I don't know why I haven't checked them out sooner, but from this album, we're going to go back and listen to all the fucking albums and we'll rank them. I know I did a poll recently and put them on, but it's not winning, so we'll do it eventually after the winners. But Fear Factory, Aggression Continuum, it was, from a, from a virgin's perspective, it was a fantastic time. You know, it was a fantastic time. Next up, we're talking about Pestilence, the other cosmic band we're going to talk about today. And they released, um, what is it called? Exit, Exitivism? Sure. It is exactly what you expect from a Pestilence album, but it's one of the better ones, especially on the newer age. It's one of the better ones. It's spacey, tech, thrashy death metal. And it's a lot different to the other album by Sidrian. That's more prog death. This is definitely more technical death, thrashy. It's a very thrashy album. The songs are very short and to the point. And the album is quite to the point as well. It's kind of short. It's about 34 minutes long. But it definitely delivers on the goods. And it keeps you invested the entire way through. I don't think it should be longer. I think it's a good time. Because all the songs are fucking intense. And if you keep going longer and longer, it gets a bit boring, I think. Um, but it's a nice good length. And it's a great album in their catalogue. And they continue to do fucking good work. So Pestilence's new album is really fucking good. Next up. Jamie Horseflies, number one, Fire and Halt by the Fires of Awakening. Holy crap, this is awesome summoning-esque black metal. This kind of chanty melody, this kind of like grand scope, epic scale of things, Lord of the Rings inspired. It's going to be good. It's going to be fucking good. For fans of summoning, you'll like Fire and Halt. It's definitely a relaxing, calm and serene album from this month and... Kind of like a nice palate cleanser, I guess. It's really good. Um, I, I think it's very... Relaxing is probably the key word for this album. And I want to listen to it again and again. And Jamie keeps fucking singing it again and again. 
So, you know, shut your fucking trap, Jamie. It's a fantastic black metal album from June, and I like it a lot. Next up, we got Dark Throne. Oh, yeah, Dark Throne released an album this month. How crazy is that? We've got Pestilence, we've got Dark Throne. What other big names are going to appear? Oh, Fear Factory? Fucking hell, this month is stacked. Dark Throne album, though, Eternal Hails. Holy shit, it's so much different to all their other albums. I've ranked Dark Throne before. They have more cross-punky stuff. They've got more like, atmospheric stuff. they got the newer kind of mix of rock slash black metal. It's weird. And then they got the proper black metal. This is Doom. This is like Black and Doom. Long songs like usual. There's only about four on it. Very long, very doomy, very slow passages, kind of raw production back to the old days, but, you know, way different because it's not fucking like proper black metal. It's like doomy black metal, and I love it. I love the change of pace. It's only here because there's so many other albums that I love this month, but I really enjoyed this album, and it might grow. It might grow. It's sacrilege me putting it only here, but it, fuck it. It's on the top 10 of the month, so, you know, you're gonna you'll enjoy it anyway. So Dark Throne Eternal Hails. It's Goddamn awesome. Next up is Heavy Temper with Lupia Morris. This is fucking insane. This is a psychedelic doom metal band. And this album slays. As soon as I fucking heard the first song, the, the riffs are catchy as hell. The singing is so soaring. And I don't want to say operatic. Kind of operatic, but not in a power metal sense. More in like a heavy metal... Iron Maiden, Bruce Dickinson kind of sense, or Rob Halford, it's that kind of vocals, it's goddamn awesome, it's like you mix epic doom with psychedelic doom, you mix them together, you create Heavy Temple, and this album's gonna be on repeat, this might rise higher at the end of the year list, I love this album, it's kind of short, but it, it's good, it's good for what it's got, I love the singing, I love the instrumentation, I love the riffs, Heavy fucking Temple, it's goddamn awesome, top four now, Eremit, bearer of many names. This is a funeral sludgy doom metal band. So you know what you're gonna expect. And from the album cover, I was really anticipating this album, you know? And from the fact that the first song has my man, the fucking singer from Ahab in, doing some guest growls. Holy shit, I thought this was gonna be my number one of the month. It wasn't, because it's, it is kind of more on the sludgy, Stoner Doom side of things as opposed to the Funeral Doom side of things. There's a very thick layer of um, distortion or I can't remember what it's called, uh, feedback or whatever. There's a fuzz. Basically, there's a fuzz. I'm not, I'm not a musician. There's a fuzz around everything, which you get in Stoner Doom and you get in... Um, you don't really get that in Funeral Doom a lot, a lot of the time. It's usually clear. That's the only my, my only gripe with it, but the songs are so fucking epic. So the songs just kind of envelop you in this thick, sludgy sound. You feel like you're in the swamp with that weird creature or whatever. It, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's murky. It's grimy. The vocals are really like... It's great. It's amazing. So my only complaint is the fuzzy nature of everything. And that's that's it, really. That's it. I love the growls on this. Really anticipated this to be my number one, but others beat it. So uh, let's get to them. So my number three sport is a band I can't pronounce with an album name I can't pronounce, but I'll put it on the screen because, you know, me just saying I can't pronounce it. How are you going to fucking find it? Come on, come on. This is a blackened doom metal. There's a lot of doom this month, isn't there? Fucking hell, we've had a lot of doom. Blackened doom metal band and from the album cover, that's the reason I pressed this. I went on band camp, saw the album cover and I was like, Holy shit, there's a bunch of dead animals, but it looks so artistic, kind of like Hannibal or someone would create it. And listening to it, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's got the black metal screaming. It's got the really atmospheric parts, like woods breaking in, in the forest and things like that. And it's very atmospheric. It's kind of like um, Ulva. Like Ulva, Nat not Natan's Magical, the Bergtat, that one. It's like that. If you liked Ulva... If you liked Wilderness from last year, you'd have to check this one out. I can't pronounce it, but you got to check this one out. It's beautifully bleak. I adore this album. I kind of want to put it higher, but I had a real trouble with two and one, uh, two and three. But I'm settling it for three at the moment. So that means my number two. It's Halloween. 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 Yes, not Halloween. That's the song by Halloween. Halloween released an album this year and. Fuck yes, it's amazing. It's it's high on my list when I did my Halloween ranking. 
because all the songs go damn kick ass. There's no filler on this album. You know, shit like Robot King, very long, very epic. And then Skyfall, I fell from the sky. It's so catchy. I love all the songs in this album. Again, this will be a grower. At the moment, it's sitting here at number two. It puts a smile on your face when you're listening to it. Halloween's good for that. They knock it out of the park once a fucking again. Love that all the vocalists are here. All the, all the fucking musicians. Like, how good is it? Pumpkins United. It's fantastic. Love this album to pieces. Easily have to make my top ten. So, yeah. Fucking Halloween. So, what's my number one? What's my bloody number one? It's only Thy Catafalque with Vedak. Yeah, they released an album this month and fucking blew my goddamn mind. This is avant-garde black metal, but the, it's it's beautiful at parts. It's got the atmospheric flair at parts. The vocals are intense. It's really fucking fast and intense at parts. Then it's so folky like Eluvete. You mix Eluvete with fucking Burzum because the vocals sound very Burzum-esque. Very, very like much like Varg. And I love it. Then you got some beautiful female singing. You got chants. You got melodies. You got these dancey segments, like really funky dance parts. This is the best album of the month. Fucking is. It's over an hour, but oh my god, the amount they cram in. How interesting every song is on this album. You might not like all the songs in it, but some of them are just you kind of like fascinated by. It. Like, whoa, that's very cool. This has got to be number one. You know, this has got to be number one. As soon as I heard it. Some of the riffs were just so fucking good. The fast parts, the fast tempos, the slow tempos, the screaming. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Die Catafalque, Vedak. It's, it's my one of the month. It's got to be here. So, that has been my top 10 of June 2021. What did you think of my list? Let me know down below what's your favourite albums from June 2021. What has you excited for next month as well? Let me know what albums you thought was fucking shit. Let me know down below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.